Welcome to the Lutheran Church and School of Messiah. I will be your tour guide for the day as we go through our building and talk about our curriculum and all the fun stuff that goes on here. So come on in. Here we have put a little bit of our history about our church and school. We moved into the building that we have now in 1967. The big event that we went through is in 1989, four or five churches were hit by an arsonist and we were one of them. So these are pictures of our church. They went underneath the sanctuary and lit the fire and burnt it down. So in that year, we had to move our uh, worship services to a Seventh-day Adventist church that was kind enough to let us worship there on, on Sundays. And the school had to go and be in warehouses that were open until we could put it all back together. So we have been here now for the school for 41 years, and off we go to the next part of our school. As we come up, you'll be coming up these stairs. That's our front entrance. And you come in and you take a right, and we end up in our school and church office and waiting for us is our school secretary. Hello, my name is Casey Bonnell. I am the friendly voice behind the phone calls and the desk when you guys come in for questions for me. From there we go down to our trophy case. We have sports here at Messiah Lutheran. We play in a Christian league. We in the uh, fall have co-ed volleyball that we play in the gym. And then we also have a boys and girls basketball team. And in the spring we hold the Messiah Invitational Track Meet. We also have and participate in Math Counts, which is a statewide math competition that our kids go to. And if they get far enough, they can go to the National Math, math Counts. So we have a couple trophies from that. In 2010, we placed second place, and then we took a few years off, and now the students have come back at it, and this last year we took third in state. Pretty proud of our Lions. From here, we turn the corner, and we go into our narthex, and we'll be heading into our church, which on Wednesdays we hold chapel for all of our kids preschool through eighth grade. And you are blessed because all year long, we celebrate Christmas. From here, we're gonna enter our school building. We go through our security doors where we have, the church goes on here with quilters and different programs, different missions on this side of the building. And then we keep our students on this other side behind our security doors. So come on in. Here, this is our music room where Mrs. Ramsey teaches again kindergarten through eighth grade. She does a lot of instruments and singing in the choir, and we are very blessed that we are able to go out into the community and sing also. Every year, we start um, the kettle drive for the Salvation Army, and so our kids get to support them and the mission there. My name is Donna Ramsey. I'm the resident music teacher, kindergarten through eighth grade here at Messiah Lutheran. And it is my pleasure to inform you that I have completely flunked retirement and I'm happy about that. Spending time here with these children is one of the biggest blessings I've ever known. In this music class, we have my library of Christian books here. Here we have non-pitch percussion instruments. We have a collection of tubes that we have been making instruments from. Over in this direction, we have ORF instruments. And I teach from the ORF Schulwerk philosophy, 
which includes, and I don't want to miss anything, so let me read this. This includes singing, rhythms, the ORF instruments, both pitched and non-pitched, re teaching recorders, and when we sing, we are often reading the written word, we're learning pitch, we're learning languages. I love to use children's literature when I teach as a teaching tool, especially if it rhymes. Uh, we use drums. Ah, let's see, and the ORF instruments, which is exciting for all of us. But the ORF instruments... Those are contrabass bars. These are xylophones. This is a metallophone. And I, instead of a far away cruise on a ship, I purchased this and it's paid off. Uh, this year we have created our own drums. We have hand drums in the form of a lid. We have rhythm sticks. We have drumsticks. And the children know the difference between rhythm sticks and drumsticks. Teaching recorders teaches students how to read music notation, as in pitch. We often sing and perform for um, church services here and we perform in the community every opportunity that we can have and I want to read this one comment to you research has proven music improves reading and math skills side benefits are knowing how to read and perform music include self-confidence compassion cooperation perseverance appreciation determination and a general success in life music makes you smarter. And we head down the hall. We like to put up our black and white pictures of activities that go on here and our kids having a lot of fun. Each year we do a daddy-daughter dance. And so the girls get all dressed up and their father's in suits and they come out for a good time. We take free pictures of them to honor and support uh, what they're doing and the dads will sometimes take their kids out to dinner beforehand and moms get a night off whereas the lovely beautiful daughters again share a time with their dad on a date. From here we go into our youth room with the lovely couches that we love to uh, sleep on. And you will hear more about Taco Tuesday is probably their favorite as they come in and worship together and do what teenagers love to do, eat. <laughs> then we have three levels to our school. So as we go upstairs, we are entering the corridor of third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and the computer lab. We are combination grades, which is fine. The way we do it is we split apart reading, we split apart math, but then science and social studies are taught together. So here we come to Mr. Shields' room. He is our third and fourth grade teacher. Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome to the third and fourth grade classroom. I uh, graduated from Concordia St. Paul. I've been teaching for uh, 10 years. Uh, I got an elementary education degree uh, and at Concordia I learned uh, not only uh, educational theories but also uh, educating in love and that's one of the biggest things I take pride in here at Masai. I enjoy getting up every day and teaching these students about Christ and what he's done for us. At Concordia I uh, was involved in cross country and track and uh, here at uh, Messiah I am the athletic director where we offer uh, sports uh, at, such as volleyball and basketball and the kids are very well prepared to go on to high school sports after they graduate here. Alright, follow me to my classroom. 
Cy, I really uh, enjoy the holistic education that we offer. Uh, we not only have specials for math, we have uh, Singapore Math, which is a new curriculum uh, for us, and it's a great curriculum. I have not only uh, been trained in this uh, curriculum, but uh, the big thing here is the rigor, uh, the number sense, and the uh, word problems. Handwriting is also important, and during third and fourth grade, we focus on uh, handwriting, uh, specifically cursive. At Messiah here, we also work uh, on Colorado history and U.S. history. So for that, we do uh, projects, we uh, read uh, a weekly newspaper and learn more about not only our state, but our country. We also study the states and capitals throughout the year. And I believe that is also very important. We have uh, Bible history where we focus on the Old and New Testament, as well as uh, memorization of the commandments and uh, the books of the Bible, among others. When it comes to reading, we have Read Aloud, where I read aloud different genres of literature to the students. Uh, I also uh, encourage the kids to have silent reading time when we get to read uh, literature of our choice. Uh, we also have novels that I focus on um, comprehension and vocabulary words. We also read uh, short stories from our reading textbook. And then across the hall is my room. This is the fifth and sixth grade classroom. Hello! Welcome to 5th and 6th grade. Let me introduce myself. My name is Karen Mead. I graduated from Central High School here in Grand Junction. Then I went to Concordia University in Seward, Nebraska, where I got my bachelor's in education. And then I got my master's degree in middle school literacy. I have taught for 25 years. This is my ninth year here at Messiah thrilled to be here. One of the greatest things is that our faculty and staff are just great friends. We get along together. We work so well together, planning, preparing, everything that we do. We just get along and have fun together. And then of course there's the kids and the supportive families that we have that are willing to volunteer and do whatever we need. So come on in. We're going to talk a little bit now about what I teach the kids. So fifth through eighth grade is departmentalized. I teach the literature, language arts, and the history. So as we look at the history, this year in fifth and sixth, we're doing geography of the world. So they're memorizing the countries and their capitals and their bodies of water. And then we stop along the way as we're on the continents or countries. Um, and we, they do a PowerPoint on a country. We're doing travel brochures on different countries so that they research and learn a lot more about the world that we live in. Then next year we flip to American history. And so we use the Abeka textbook to do that. And so we start with the Native Americans and we get through the Civil War um, next year. So, and we spend a lot of time on the Constitution of the U.S. and we go through what the Founding Fathers intended it to be. Then um, seventh and eighth grade, I also teach a Becca and it's the war, uh, history of the world. So we start out at the creation and we go all the way through to modern times. So this book is done in two years um, with research. I love to have them do PowerPoints and they write essays. They do one research paper and we do it all in MLA to prepare them for high school. Our literature curriculum is based on novels. So they uh, learn all of the literary devices and they um, write opinion papers, persuasive papers, based on what we are learning here. So in fifth grade and sixth grade, we switch um, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, My Brother Sam is Dead, We Just Finished Tim uh, the K, um, Summer of the Monkeys, which is hilarious. This year we read 11, which is a children's side of 9-11, so it's a good way for them to learn that history. The Year of the Boar and Jackie Robinson, as we're doing um, 
the Civil War. They read Red Cap. And then My Side of the Mountain also. Then seventh and eighth grade, a lot bigger, a lot more in depth, a lot more pre preparing them for high school. So the hiding place, which I love the Christian learning how God um, worked through the terrible times of the Holocaust for Corey Ten Boom. Lord of the Flies, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. We start this next semester, Romeo and Juliet, To Kill a Mockingbird. And then the abridged version of Count of Monte Cristo, which looks overwhelming, but with all of its twists and turns, this ends up to be one of the students' all-time favorite books. So that's a little bit of just the main points that we do. And of course, we are here to challenge them to get them ready for high school. So a lot of these novels, they will read again in high school and it gives them a great, they're well-prepared, to handle the comprehension, uh, the literary devices and everything as they head into high school. So that's our job, to prepare them well, to be sure they have all the vocabulary and skills that they need to be successful in high school. Just down this hall, we have our computer lab. Kindergarten through eighth grade uses our computer lab. So these grades are all the way upstairs onto our third floor. So now we head down to our second floor. You'll notice our school is a maze. It has been rebuilt and added on, so it's the maze that goes around our school. We get lots of exercise on our stairs. So now we are entering the hallway of preschool in first and second grade. So we welcome you to the Winter Wonderland, and this is our preschool. Well, I'm Mrs. Stone, and this is Miss Ratliff, and we've been here quite a long time um, as co-teachers. One thing that I absolutely love about preschool is our curriculum, which is the hands-on project approach, where kids get to develop their skills using their own hands and all the tools necessary for that learning to happen. So we really focus on the process, not the product, and we want every child to be able to achieve their best. Um, one of the things I absolutely love about our preschool, besides being academic, is that we really infuse Jesus into everything that we yes. do. Yes. And we absolutely love him. We have chapels on Wednesday. We have special chapels on Thursdays for our kids that only come two days. And we have Jesus time every single day. So that's one of the things I love. Yes. Um, I'm Mrs. Ratliff. Um, we've been teaching together for six years. Um, couldn't do it without her, that's for sure. Um, but yes, everything in our classroom, we want these kiddos to do um, hands-on. We want them to produce everything from cutting to gluing to um, just everything produced by them. And so we get to see them grow in that where in the beginning, some of them may not ever have had you know, held a pencil or a pair of scissors. And so we get to see them bloom and grow and it's an amazing experience. And we get to praise Jesus. That's the best part yes. with these kiddos. And, um, but yeah. Let so, us show you a center. Yeah. So if you come this way, you'll see our carpet area, which we use for circle time and Jesus time, the beginning of the day and the end. Our calendar. Our calendar. Our calendar. We also have eight different centers. This center that we're featuring this morning is called Blocks and Building. So you'll see we've got a lot of different objects that they can play with and learn and grow with. We've got actual wood. We've got paper tubes because, come on, which kid doesn't like paper tubes? We've got tea tins that they can stack. The ever famous Duplos. And we've got some stacking chairs. So we really try to provide versatile materials for the kids to learn and play with. And we say play, but they're actually really working and learning with us, which is amazing. We also have a math and science center. We have currently a nativity center because right. it's Christmas. 
We have dramatic Play-Doh, play. dra dramatic play. Mm -hmm. We have a library. We have a light table. We have a sensory table. So there's a lot of opportunities yes, for them to explore and grow and play with friends. And then over here we have our first and second grade with Miss Anderson. Hi, my name is Heather. I'm the first and second grade teacher here at Messiah. Come and have a tour of my classroom. So I have been teaching for 12 years. This is my 13th year. Um, I graduated from Concordia University in Portland with a Bachelor's of Arts in Education and a minor in Professional Church Work. And I received my Master's from Concordia, Nebraska in Education with an emphasis in Literacy. <clears throat> I really love teaching and one of my favorite parts is teaching kids about reading and books. Um, one thing that we might do a little bit differently here than other schools is I have my kids have book boxes and they get to choose books that they are interested in, uh, whether it's at their reading level or not. I think it's very important for them to find books that they are interested in that can then um, make them lifelong readers. What I really enjoy te about teaching here at Messiah is being able to teach children about Jesus. It's worked in throughout the day and everything that we do, every single subject. I also enjoy working with students one-on-one -on -one and when they have that aha moment and they finally understand something that they have been struggling with for a long time and building those one-on-one -on -one relationships with the students and their families. And we travel down the hallway to the seventh and eighth grade, our gymnasium and kindergarten. So we go to the first floor. Find our seventh and eighth grade classroom. Hi, welcome to seventh and eighth grade. <laughs> so, this is my classroom. My name is Letha Wallace. I graduated in 2019 from Concordia University, Wisconsin. I majored in secondary mathematics and minored in theology. Um, so, here um, in my room, the, this year we're kind of social distance, but usually I like to have um, groups so that the kids can collaborate while they learn. Um, I am the main fifth through eighth grade math, science, and PE teacher. So for math from preschool through eighth grade, we all do dimensions math, so it's from Singapore. It's a very strong um, word problem heavy math that works on getting the kids to understand things conceptually and learn by doing more hands-on activities. Um, for PE, I really like the kids to do sports type students with a lot of um, teamwork and um, athletic style events inside that. Um, I have been at Messiah since uh, 2019 and um, I love it here because everyone is so welcoming and inviting and we have such great students with smaller class sizes but it makes it um, easier for me to be able to go from student to student and um, the students have a lot of opportunity to collaborate together and work together in a lot of my classes. And they've got their lockers which are very important to them. And then we head into our gymnasium. So our gymnasium again we have our volleyball games here, we have our basketball games here, the floor is, is new, we just got that within the year. our Spanish program and here you can see they're learning parts of the body 
So they trace them one and have labeled the different parts of the body. They do a lot of verbal speaking to one another, conversation Spanish, and they also do the grammatical, the sounds of the vowels, make sure that they speak it correctly. They have a textbook that they get into so they can also write in Spanish. We have a lot of students that have come through and they've skipped Spanish one and gone on to Spanish two in high school. Buenos dias. This is Spanish class. At Messiah, we start with first and second graders just having fun with it, learning some songs, the Pledge of Allegiance, and some basic conversation. Starting in third grade through eighth grade, students begin to work at their own pace, and they learn the language slowly but surely. Hopefully, it's sticking with them. We are really proud of the fact that by the time the kids leave here in eighth grade, most of them are able to go into Spanish too at the high school. Students seem to work hard and enjoy their work. That's also our extended day room. So after school, we have an after school extended day, which starts uh, right after school and goes to six o'clock if needed. And then we go around the corner to kindergarten. This is Skokes Kindergarten class. Hey, welcome to kindergarten. Come on in. Let me show you around the room. Here's our favorite part. Here's the favorite part of our cl classroom. The kids love the loft. They love to go up there. That's our special reading spot. The whole class goes up there, including me and we have a great time reading stories together. Underneath the loft is one of our many centers that we have in, in the classroom. We have five, six, seven of them, depending on how many we have open that day, doing a variety of language arts, math, um, art, uh, just other fun things. I have Legos out that we use. I have a special Lego table over here in the corner. Um, center two is our art table. And then in the corner over here, we have our Jesus time. This is one of my favorite places to be with the kids because we get to talk about Jesus whenever we want to. And that's one of my favorite things being able to teach here is that I can talk about Jesus whenever I want to and the kids can use his name whenever they want to. And it's, it's a wonderful thing that I can bring that into art, I can bring that into social studies, I can bring it into science into language arts, into our sentences that we're learning, into the words that we're learning for sight words. So this is an area where we do a lot of, of our language arts. We do have our Jesus time here. We do a lot of singing. I get to play my guitar and sing with the kids, and that's, that's a blast. And then we, we work on our letters. In kindergarten, we spend the first half of the year having fun with the letters. And we do one or two letters a week and just get to play around with them and do activities that go together with that letter. But at the same time, we're learning sight words. By the end of the year, we've learned over 150 sight words, plus the kids know how to sound out just about anything that you put in front of them. And so that's very fun. What I love about teaching reading is that the kids get so excited about the fact that they've learned how to read and to see that excitement on their faces, and especially when that little light bulb goes off on over their head and they go, I know how to read! That's the coolest thing ever! And they're so excited, and, and I love it too. And so, it, it, teaching here has just been really, really fun for me. I've been here a while, and I, I know a lot of, lot of kids, and I have been, been able to teach a lot of families, and so I get to know the kids really well, I get to know their families really well, and so I've worked hard to help learn what makes each kid tick so that I know how to work with them in the best way possible. This is the entrance that the kids come in. So we're back into the hallway of preschool and first and second grade. So each morning the kids come in this way and out this way. So we'll take you through and show you there's the parking lot that you park in. So we have our parents park their cars 
and then the students walk across the crosswalk. Our eighth graders come out and our crossing guards to be sure all is safe. Then we turn. This year we updated our playground and we're still in the process of upgrading it because we are going to get soon a gaga ball court for the older middle school kids. But we have our new playground equipment. We extended our field so they can really play football and soccer across it. This parking lot is empty during the school day so that the kids can run around. They like to play kickball in the parking lot. We have a tire swing, the playground equipment, and our big field that the kids love and are entertained. And we certainly thank Louis Hartbauer and all of those who put in time to put this whole thing together. It was a lot of work and a lot of gifts from our congregation to see that we have updated equipment and the kids so far have absolutely loved it. So we thank you so much for being a part of our virtual tour and for coming and checking out our school. We again have been here for 41 years and our Christ-centered focus is what we want to shine. People call this school the hidden gem and families feel like this is a big family and we support one another and love one another through teaching of Christ and we have activities with families that bring families together at night not just the daddy-daughter dance, but we like to have mother-son nights and do a bunch that we just come together and fellowship with one another. We are Christ-centered in everything that we do. We teach that it is only by the grace and work of God on the cross and His resurrection that we are saved, not by our works. And we focus that each day in all subjects that we teach again raise the kids so that they have the seeds planted and we pray will grow by the Holy Spirit all through their lives and they rely on our Lord and Savior to be their strength in the day and their eternal life at the end. We also have a great academic program. Those that apply for the honors classes around our high schools are 95% of them are accepted in we have had, we have, some of our alumni have gone on to MIT, Stanford, all around the country, and of course, um, we're proud of them, but we're proud of all of our students and the accomplishments that they have gone on to as they develop their faith. As ac an academic school, the high schools know when they get a Messiah kid, they get hard workers. They get those who are great writers, great mathematicians, and we are certainly very proud of what our alumni can accomplish. So we hope that you will join our family here and get a great education and more importantly, learn more about our Savior every day. Jesus loves you! <laughs>